here take a look at this and they have given us sketches of how this part uh, should look like and so now we want to be able to utilize that information and so in utilizing uh, that information we can make a very stylized uh, part so let's take a look at uh, this and we're just going to grab a line and again uh, we'll lock to a particular uh, plane and if you wanted to you can uh, get your view uh, on that particular item and we're just going to come in here and just draw kind of trace around uh, this particular one you can see that we also have some dimensions that the uh, industrial designer has uh, suggested and whenever we do that we can uh, go in here and we can place those dimensions at the same time so we'll go ahead and place that uh, in there like so next what we want to be able to do is simply uh, grab this and pull it out but notice that we need it on both sides so we need to have it symmetric and we'll just get a top view and we can see that we can just come out to that area right there next we want to be able to add some rounding as they uh, suggest in the um, in the drawing and let's just go through here and select that we need this one to be uh, 0.4 is what they're suggesting and we're just going to go around this uh, particular part. Now there's a reason why uh, we're going around and selecting uh, all these and I'll show you here in a second uh, the reason why is we want that one to be 0.25. Now in some cases um, this may not be the desired uh, rounding order. Uh, this was just the order that the designer I selected. Uh, but <clears throat> what if you need to come back and change your mind and say, well, that's really not uh, the order in which I want that particular round uh, to take place. And in a uh, order type environment, you would just simply drag the feature up and they would reorder. Well with synchronous you don't have to worry about that because you can simply just grab the patch that you want to change and reorder those rounds right there on the fly and you didn't have to worry about a recalculation. Uh, it was instantaneous. Now the other thing that we've uh, needed inside of here is also uh, to be able to draft and we want to be able to draft along this bottom face and I just want to be able to select a single face and we'll just select this single face here and we'll also select this single face here and you can see uh, that we have a 10 degree uh, draft on that particular face and notice that we didn't have to worry about rounds because synchronous takes care of that for us whenever we add those rounds to make sure that the rounds stay intact whenever we draft uh, that particular part. Now the other thing I want to be able to uh, come in here uh, to do is to also add this curved uh, back so we need to uh, select a this one I want to do a three an arc by three points and we'll just go ahead and again lock to that plane and we can select our arc by three points in this case we can see that we have a dimension that is suggested of uh, seven so we'll go ahead and we will make that but also I want to make sure that and that uh, I'm actually tangent uh, to that particular uh, point so I can simply just come up here and relate I can relate this to that face and make sure that it is uh, truly tangent and then just use my uh, grab and go tools to be able to sit there and grab and again um, we just want to go through and just want to tell the system I want to remove material rather than add it and we've uh, been able to to do that right there. So next, we want to do we want to be able to show off uh, some some surfacing uh, tools that we have inside of Solid Edge. And so in doing so, I need to uh, I need to create uh, some curves. So we just want to be able to grab a sketch. And then from here, we're going to be using our, our curve uh, tool to be able to design some curves. So I just want to grab that silhouette point, and I'm just going to trace along here. I want to see, bring that up, because I want to make sure that I'm on that particular point. 
and make sure I'm on that silhouette point. Now we have tools inside of, of here of where I want to uh, be able to constrain my points of my uh, curve to be able to control them uh, evenly make sure that we have uh, some symmetry uh, going across uh, with uh, my, my silhouette points of my curve but I also want to make sure that we come uh, straight off of this particular curve so we'll just make those straight inside of there. Now you can uh, easily come in here and, and grab this information and move it and, and change the design. You can also have what we call shape edit where we can make sure that we have uh, the preserve the shape that we do rather than doing a local edit but as you move a, a single uh, element it tries to preserve that shape um, that you're in rather than just that simple uh, localized edit. Next I want to create another one and we'll just create it from this plane and we'll go to that uh, point there and we'll just go through that same uh, process again. Now the one of the nice things uh, that you can see here is by having uh, our industrial designers um, sketch is that we can uh, easily convey their idea of how they wanted this uh, part uh, to look like and again we'll just go through and we'll add our uh, constraints to here and we'll make sure that we have uh, this coming off directly from that curve now again this is just stylizing uh, it's just getting uh, how we want this curve uh, to look uh, and it looks pretty good at this point so we'll go ahead and finish that off and I just need one more uh, curve uh, to be placed and we'll just place it on this top one and on this one what I want to be able to do is uh, I just want to be able to create what we call is a, is a tangent uh, tangent arc and bring this off here bring this around and make sure that you know we're tangent we're staying tangent inside of there but in this case uh, rather than having it to be I just want to get an arc to get to the point where that's the shape that I want but I want to convert it to an actual uh, curve and so in doing so we can add those constraints that I had before now and you can see that we can make sure we have true symmetry and we can just go ahead and select this and we'll be able to pull it down keep those equal as we're pulling them uh, down to be able to place that so you can convert any line or any curve or any arc uh, to a, a curve now we need to add uh, one more sketch and we're going to add um, a curve that's going to define the front part of this so we're just going to give a nice curve and I'm just going to go to that end point there grab that silhouette point and anytime you can also rotate your view you doesn't you don't always have to stay uh, inside of um, that particular view and again we'll just make sure that we're coming off straight from there and also this one coming off straight from from there and it gives us um, a nice curve to there let's go ahead and finish that off and they're going to utilize what we call uh, blue surf our, our blue surf technology uh, inside of solid edge so we're just going to go into surfacing grab my blue surf and what we're going to do uh, is we're going to start selecting uh, some sketches but also we're going to utilize uh, the part edges that are inside of here and you'll instantly see the uh, surface uh, being built uh, on the fly as you uh, start creating and you can see that we're getting a nose type effect but I want to have some guidance uh, for this particular curve and we added those uh, we drew them those guide curves and so now I can just simply come in here and select them and you can see instantaneously what your surface is going to uh, look like uh, inside of here whenever we just accept this information you can see how that is very nice and stylized uh, throughout uh, the process. Next we want to be able to come in here and we want to be able to uh, bound or patch this uh, particular one up. We can use the same uh, blue surf uh, tool as you can see and then we'll go also go down to the uh, the bottom. We'll just select 
uh, this information. In fact, let me grab, make sure I grab, there we go. Grab this one and we'll also grab that one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my my sketches so I can take a look at uh, what I'm what I'm looking at here, and we'll just hide all sketches. We'll turn them off, and you can see how we have this nice stylized uh, part. But we now need to make this into a solid, so we can simply just come in here. We can stitch this information. Just simply grab that. And then once we have that information, now we can then add uh, that information uh, to here through a uh, Boolean operation. And you can see by adding that to there, uh, we now have a very stylized uh, type part. Now the next thing we want to be able to do is uh, we want to thin wall this, so we're just going to give that a... Uh, Let's give it a value of 0.1 and we're just going to tell the system what needs to be open and we're able to finish that off. Now <clears throat> this is just to uh, demonstrate to you the stylizing um, tools that are inside of Solid Edge. There's more information to be uh, added to this uh, plastic part but at this point in time uh, we just want this is the point that we want to make uh, with our our tools that are inside of Solid Edge using industrial design tools and surfacing tools uh, with here. Next, uh, we want to go and take a look at what we call configuration uh, management. With inside of Solid Edge, uh, we have the take any kind of assembly and have either a sub-assembly or inside of it uh, is actually a family of assembly and what we wanted to be able to do is show you that with this um, you have the ability right now we're looking at a three button configuration and let's say I wanted to change this to a four button configuration you can see that you can have different configurations of your uh, sub-assemblies and change them uh, on the fly throughout your design process and if you wanted to you could go through and uh, use what we call as a dynamic configuration where the dynamic configuration you're able to, to go in here and you're able to include or exclude uh, certain ones if you have a family of parts you can uh, use those as well to be able to design them you can see that we have existing configurations that match this particular options inside of there so you can easily uh, create uh, multiple ones uh, that you want uh, at any point in time uh, in the in the design phase. Now, with